guys, Tara here. Welcome back to my channel. Now we are already on our third month of quarantine and since then, we have had so many changes, right? One of these major changes is the classification of COVID-19 cases. Classification meaning, are you a close contact? Suspect case, probable case, confirmed case. If you're interested to know more, stick around because I'm here to pass it on. By the way guys, you might be wondering why I talk about these things like I did a separate video on home disinfection, I did a video on UVC light disinfection, PUM, PUI, ways to disinfect at home. I'll be placing the links down below and the cards right over here. That's because my husband is a frontliner and we would like to use this platform to help in any way we can to pass on information. As of today, we have more than 30,000 cases of COVID-19 in the Philippines and we cannot help but be anxious about what to do during this pandemic. Doctors keep reminding us to maintain social distancing, always wear a mask in public, and that frequent hand washing using soap and water is the best way to prevent the disease. Because cases are increasing almost daily in most of our localities, we often wonder if we are at risk in getting COVID-19 from the people we talk to or whenever we go out. Now, the problem is that our local monitoring units cannot keep track of all our activities. That is why we have an obligation to know if we may be at risk. Information on COVID-19 is still evolving. The Department of Health last April 2020 changed the classification of cases from PUM and PUI to suspect, probable, confirmed. They also define who a close contact is. At the end of this video, I will be sharing with you what you need to do if you are a suspect, probable, confirmed, or that if you are a close contact. We need to understand these terms to be able to use them correctly. First is confirmed case. It is any individual who tested positive for COVID-19 in any DOH certified laboratory facility like Vicente Soto Memorial Medical Center in Cebu City. If you are positive but was tested in a laboratory that is not accredited by DOH as a testing facility, then you are considered a probable case. A probable case is any suspect case whose COVID-19 test was inconclusive or was positive but was tested in a facility not accredited by DOH for confirmatory tests or a suspect case who died without being tested. Probable cases may need to be confirmed or retested in a DOH accredited facility. The next two cases are confusing for most of us. Are you a suspect case or a close contact? DOH defines a suspect case as a person who has severe acute respiratory illness or SARI that cannot be explained by any other disease. These patients are usually admitted and some in the ICU. Any individual with influenza-like illness or ILI that has history of exposure to areas with local transmission or exposed to a confirmed or probable case in the past 14 days before the start of illness is considered a suspect case. Healthcare workers, high-risk pregnant women, those who are more than 60 years old and have comorbidity like hypertension or diabetes, who have respiratory symptoms like cough, difficulty breathing, and fever are also considered a suspect case. A close contact is a person who may have come into contact with a probable or confirmed case during his or her first two days before the onset of illness or the date of sample collection if the confirmed or probable case is asymptomatic. These confirmed or probable cases may still infect others until they test negative. EOH further explained that a close contact has to have face-to-face -face contact with a probable or confirmed case within one meter and for more than 15 minutes. That is why doctors keep reminding us to maintain social distancing of at least one meter 
and to limit our conversations to less than 15 minutes to lessen the risk of getting the disease. Any direct physical contact or direct care by a healthcare worker given to a confirmed or probable case without using proper personal protective equipment or PPE is also considered a close contact. Again, that is why it is very important to wear a mask whenever you go outside your homes. So now that we know these things, what should we do if we fulfill any of these criteria? First, you should inform your local health authorities like your barangay officials or healthcare workers. Please do not be afraid to report your illness because they are there to help you monitor and if needed, treat the disease. If you think you are a close contact, then you can call your local health workers and ask what to do. You may be tested or may just be monitored depending on their evaluation. If you are a suspect, confirmed, or probable case and have informed the local authorities of your condition, the most important thing to do is stay at home. Isolate yourself from other family members or go to local isolation centers provided by the government if home isolation is not possible. If you have mild symptoms like fever, cough, or colds, you can ask your doctor for a teleconsultation and be prescribed medications without leaving your house. If you experience difficulty breathing, then your best action would be to go to the nearest hospital and inform them that you are a suspect, probable, or confirmed case. Call the hospital ahead if possible, since most of the hospitals now are at full capacity. Remember, do not be afraid to inform your local health authorities or your private doctor if you think you are a suspect case or a close contact. And lastly, some reminders. Always wear your face mask. Wash your hands with soap and water as frequent as possible. Maintain social distancing and stay at home. So that's it guys. I hope you find this video helpful and if it does, please do share with your family and friends so that they would also know more about these things. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I have new videos. You may also drop a comment down below if you have any questions. So guys, that's it. See you next time. Stay healthy and God bless. Bye! Thank you.